ain't seeing you the one, one. Baby, can we have some fun? Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We have a very cool episode for you guys. In this episode, we'll be joined by our good friend Simon, who's a structural engineer as well as a project manager for our latest listing, which you can see behind us. It's a very cool listing that we have. If you've seen local projects, this is giving local projects. And I'm so keen to show you guys around as well as Simon, who's gonna talk about all the details from a structural engineering perspective as well as a project management perspective. This listing is live, the link is live down below. So go down there, check it out. This property is listed for just under 5 million including the glass which is floor to ceiling large pans of glass valued at the value of 1 million rand so check the description down below the link is there with all the information right so simon finally joined us on site and he's going to be taking us through this entire property but before we get into it i'd like to introduce you guys to our good friend simon simon can you introduce yourself, what you do, and what your involvement was with this project? Okay. Yeah, my name is Simon. Uh, I'm a structural engineer, uh, as well as construction project manager. Uh, I got involved uh, on this project here uh, simply because they were looking for a professional services and a proper way of doing uh, their construction. Mm. So uh, that's how I came to, to be part of the project. Mm. So. Uh, I got involved from the stage one up to the last stage of which we are currently based on, uh, up to the occupational of the building. And we were speaking, I think let's probably just uh, approach the site. Okay. We were speaking before and you were saying you, this is not the only project that you currently work on, you work yes. on some projects around the country. Yes, that's correct, yes. I mostly work in uh, structural uh, building on the residential. Mm as well as the commercial and industrial buildings. Mm. That's what I'm normally focused on uh, in terms of structure as well as the construction. Okay, yes. and in terms of the way in which you operate, you have a company or? Yes, okay. I've got it. I've got uh, my company name is, is Simon and Partners, okay. of which we focused more on civil and structural engineering uh, uh, services. Oh, yes, that's what we, we do, but we also do uh, construction. Obviously, mm. you can be a, sure. a, a, a construction project manager if you're a structural engineer because you know a project mm. has a whole from the beginning up to the end of the project. Mm. Yes. You know the life cycle generally. Yeah, that's correct. So yes. if, if you guys are watching and you require any services from a structural perspective or from our project management, I'll put your details down in the description. Go mm. up, hit them up, and let's get into this tour then. Cool, so as we enter, I think you know this project and this property more than anyone. Yes. Uh, so can you just take us, I mean, let me just speak from the from the beginning. Yeah. My first uh, my first impression is just the size of this, how big this is. That's it's just, correct. It's just crazy. How big is this? Uh, here we are sitting on 8,000 square meter plot. Uh, the plot is, is re uh, rezoned to uh, agricultural. Uh, this area in Chatwell is mostly agricultural holdings, whereby uh, you can you you are allowed to build a main main house, a bigger house, but also you've got an option of extra outbuilding. Okay. So that's actually uh, happens here in, in, in Chatwell on this 8,000 square meter uh, plot. Yeah. So basically, what's happening here? Uh, it's a it's a portion. Uh, at the beginning, it was one plot from the street where you entered, all the way through to the to the neighbor. So the previous guy had to uh, subdivide into three portions. Yeah. Then this ones they like they were lucky enough to get the plot, uh, 8,000 square meter plot. Uh, then yeah, they were fortunate enough to build amazing uh, house like we can see. So 8,000 yeah. <laughs> square meters is is a lot of. A lot of space for someone to come and build but i think also this structure if you just look at the structure it's yes. it's massive correct i think they used it well so in this current state can you just explain the structure and what the intention is is this the only structure that's going to be on the site and how is this going to be as a finished product or the how was it planned to be? okay according to the architect's plan or the the first proposal uh, it was this structure, 
as well as the main that uh, we had the uh, uh, bright stand uh, bright area type of if, if, of which it was uh, de attached to the building okay then almost like a entertainment entertainment area, area yes okay. so because of financial issues mm. we had to get away with the with the with the with the with that out building but whoever is going to be owning this is still allowed he can still build the same thing it's approved everything is already in the plan so it's just a matter of hitting the ground and put the, the entertainment area and just touching on that if i think let's just walk through the yes. building and speak but just touching on that if someone were to purchase this and yes. they wanted to continue with like as you said the entertainment area yes would you be open with working with that person because you know the project or carry on with finishing off this product yes of course yes we will, uh, I'll, i'll be much happier to do that because uh, i know and I'll, he's a structural engineer of the project as well uh, i know what's actually happening and we've done also the cost analysis benefit for the for the entertainment area so it would be easier for them to they don't necessarily need to have a, a, a bill of quantity or getting cost uh, a cost from quantity surveyor because the, the the drawings are there structural drawings are there architects drawings are there so i would be much happier to assist them and proceed so that we can pro we close out the the, the i extension. think in terms of time as well to just yeah, be simpler yeah it will be simpler and also to just highlight on that uh the project is currently un enrolled under someone and partners mm. so whatever that is going to happen on this side it needs to fall under our responsibilities okay. yeah so yeah that's uh, we are more than help to help them noted yes. so now this <laughs> so this for me is where i enjoy the built environment yes this is where i enjoy real estate it's where i enjoy property correct this side of things you know the the, the grounds are cool but this for me is is beautiful but what i was saying to aiden before we started shooting that this looks like local projects type of correct design it's mass scale concrete everywhere maybe let's start this side and can I okay. explain what areas are we in okay. Okay. so this area here what what are we looking at here okay here we are we are looking at a tv area it's an actual tv room yeah of whereby you whoever is just going to put your couch there you've got a tv you uh, we've provided plugs for uh, to mount your tv on the wall and uh, you have your fireplace uh, two sided as well yes it's actually uh, from this side on the, on the tv area then we also have uh, the lounge area where we you also uh, can't like put your your couch there and yeah you share the fireplace actually also these ground points or those plug points plug points or? yes normally you know you would find that someone is seated at a couch he mm. doesn't need to walk to the to the wall yeah you're just going to plug or charge a laptop or charge a tv uh, what was it the uh, cell phone mm. uh, through this point here this Then side the i'm assuming there's going to be glass covering yes, this yes. side you are correct so, so to seeing glass yes so actually what's happening here is that uh, we're going to have it's actually a glass house if i may say so yeah. uh you're going to have your glass closing all these opening that we can see Yeah, so yeah so on this side here you're just going to have a fixed glass uh, you, 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 there's nothing much going on in terms of opening you can't access from this side but our main entrance is actually going to be from this side where just after you entered you go uh, to the garage you've got your triple garage you can park three cars then from the garage you come uh, through this entrance that's where the main entrance is going to be from the main entrance you 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 be landing to the uh, dining area this is a dining area then you've got your kitchen on that side so uh, this is the kitchen here yes it's a kitchen yeah. area you're going to have your island you see those stuff kind of mm. thing that they normal put then you also have a guest uh, guest bed uh, toilet then on this side you're going to have your your study uh, start room mm. Yeah. Then here you're also going to have a glass. Uh, it's also full glass on this side. You can also access the backyard on this side as well. Yeah. Then, uh, so you said powder room here, I guess bathroom. It's, it's, yeah, it's a powder room. Yes. It's it, no, it's a, it, this one is actually a loo. Okay. Yeah, it's a, uh, you're just going to have maybe a toilet. Uh, yeah. So one toilet for the guests. Or, 
people who are going to be at the dining area. Okay. Yes. Then here you've got, of course, your skylight. Mm. Yeah, it's very quite nice uh, skylight, this one here. Probably adds on to that thing that you said, it's going to be a glass house. A house, yes, that's correct, yeah. And just while we're walking to that side, yes. in terms of security of this entire area, yes. Um, can you speak to that for a second? Yes. Uh, in terms of security, uh, for if, if the transition between the living space to the bedroom sp uh, spaces, mm. you, we're going to have a fixed glass here. Mm. So actually what's going to happen, the type of glass that is going to be uh, installed here is a type of glass whereby uh, the, uh, no one can, uh, it's e not easily breakable. Okay. And also uh, there's not much of access on this side here. So if anyone or a, a, a person walks from the living space to the main bed to the bedroom areas, just going to walk through without anyone seeing from outside because it's going to be a little bit of tint. Okay, nice. Yeah, then on this side, is, you know, we've got a, a quite big door, a glass door as well, uh, to access the, the backyard on this side. So this is still part of the property? Yes, it's part of the property, yes. That's correct. Oh. Yeah. Aiden, this is massive. Yeah. yeah. So through this passage, uh, here so you walk. You'll be walking through the class, the class all the way, eh? then you lead to the So this entire space. walk through will be will like have a glass, glass frontage here? Yes, that's correct, yes. Okay. Do you know what the plan is for landscaping in this area? Yes, actually in terms of the landscaping here, we're planning to have a staged uh, concrete access. Uh, those type of uh, slabs that you normally put staged, mm. then you do your properly your gardening, and you've got, uh, we're going to have a, a swimming pool there, but where there's that horse pipe there. Yeah. We're going to have a, a pool. It's quite big pool. And then yeah, that's. Uh, but also it's we still welcome anyone who still uh, open uh, to alterations. Yeah, alterations yes, okay. uh, depending on. The, the test of uh, individual who's going to be occupying. Then here, here we've got glasses, just it's, it's every eight glasses. Then here you lead to the first bedroom, whereby uh, it has its own uh, bathroom. Uh, you've got all, the, of the, all of the bedrooms yes, are suite. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, this is the first bedroom, this one. Yeah, these ceilings are also very high. Ah, yes. Actually, on this side here, the ceiling height is 3.2. 3.2. And on that side, we've got a 4 meter high uh, uh, ceiling where, height. Where we just came from? Yes, from the open yeah, living space, yes. Also, these bedrooms have the glass front, so yes. you're going to be looking at the pool that's side correct. entertainment yes, area. Yes, that's correct, yes. Yeah. And just reiterating that, you said the, the, the glass will have a tent meaning that people outside won't necessarily be able to see inside, but you'll be able to see outside. So outside, yes. Okay. And also, by doing so, you are also eliminating that issue of having uh, curtains or mm. blinds, mm. you see. Okay. So you just take advantage, advantage of that fact that it's yes. glass. Yes, that's correct, yes. Then still at the passage to the second bedroom. But before we go to the first bedroom, we, also, we, we still have this glass panel that is going to be installed here as well. Mm. Uh, as you walk through, you can see your backyard through the glass. It's going to be very nice. Then we also going to do a, a staged uh, concrete uh, so that you can have access on, this, mm. on that side if needed be. And then we've got the, the bedroom too. It's also unsuited. How many, how many bedrooms in total? Uh, we've got four beds. Uh, Four bedrooms, yes, including the, ma the main master bedroom. I love the fact that the bedrooms are separated from the living spaces. When you come to your bed, it generally feels like you're going to rest. The rest, like a transition. Right. Correct, yeah. This is beautiful. Third bedroom here. Th this is a third bedroom. With uh, a walk-in. Walk-in closet. And yeah, it also has, uh, it's unsuited as well. Uh, it's just going to have a shower, this one here. Um, yeah, yeah, there's no part on this one. 
also a class at the front here. So just, just maybe looking at this lip here. Yes. What's the? Is just is this just a design feature or what was the? It, it, the architect actually when he planned, mm. uh, he made that feature to bring up the aesthetic of the house. Yeah. So we had to conform with his his uh, his views. Because it does yeah. emphasize the, the whole structure. Like sure, yes. Out, gives yes, that that's correct. Yeah. Look. You see those curved. His, for example, if you can look at that wall that mm. is ending, curving. Is cur yeah, it's also curving to conform the the tilt uh, part of the roof slab. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So this is just a beautiful blank canvas yeah, for anyone to come correct. through and that's have their good. own taste yes, applied yeah, here. Yeah. So as you can see, most of the uh, service workers they have been installed. You've got your plumbing already installed. Your electric is already installed as well. So in terms of timeline-wise, maybe I'm putting you on the spot here. Yes. If someone were to come in here, yes. and obviously it's very dependent on the specification of the finishes, yes. the level of the finish and how hard it is getting those, but what would the timeline be for someone to say, coming in today yes. and looking to finish off this project, how long would you think that would take? Uh, I would say for a project like this, if you are concentrating on the structure, mm. would, you would like to put extra two years, two months, I mean. Mm. Uh, I think in two months you can do something in terms of uh, finishing up the house mm. and ready to be moved. But if you are considering also doing the, the, the outside uh, yeah. estate landscape and all that, you might probably need three to yeah three three months okay. yeah you'll be able to so in total if, if someone was being very conservative maybe five six months, months yes that's to get correct. up to to the point where it's ready to be used yes okay. yes because they're also to to just highlight on that on that note as structural mm -hmm. engineers uh, we don't normally recommend people to move in before the outside work is is completed Outside workers in y yes, landscaping. Yes, yeah, not not really mm. ring, uh, landscaping, but in slab or pav paving needs to happen okay, around the around the building because we are trying to avoid that issue of having two rains and drainage system is compromising the foundation of the house. So we don't normally recommend anyone to start uh, to to move in before any uh, apron or in slab is mm. installed around the building. That makes sense. Yes. So this is the main bedroom. Yes. It is cornered, so you have this glass on either side. side you yes. have a view of that side, view of this side. I think this property is west facing. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, I would say it's not west. Not west. West, because yeah, that's yes. north. That's west. Yes, that's not west uh, facing project. Uh, especially, you would see it during the sunset. Mm. Uh, when you are in the side, you see a nice sunset. Mm. Especially on the summer days, yo, it's very, it's very nice. It's very nice. This is a very impressive property, yeah, and I is. think I'm actually quite jealous for whoever does buy this one because it's, yeah. it's a clean canvas. You're able correct. to come here, yeah. structure's already established, and you're yeah. able here to just put in your own finishes Fishes, yeah. and get there. So thank you so much for taking us through this tour. Yes, as I've said, if you guys require any structural engineering and project management services, I'll put all your details down below. People can go there directly. And if you are interested in this property, I'll put all the details down in the description. The link should be up by the time you see this video. So head down there, smash that like button. Subscribe if you like these types of videos and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.